third belt is sponsored by Burger King. It is three two minute rounds of boxing. Could you please welcome World Cup winning All Black, Zach Guilford. Well, as you know, uh, Zach is an elite professional athlete, 11th test All Black. Played his last test in 2012. Boxing a little bit foreign to him, but he's a great athlete. Look at him, he's in fine shape for this. And he's taking it real serious. 94.8 kilos. 94.8. And his opponent, could you please welcome Art Green. <laughs> So, you know, he's been put through the paces and he'll be ready to go against the supreme elite athlete, Art Green. 92 kilos. Mr. Art, please. 92 kg official. Second, um, I haven't seen you since uh, you went to Sydney with the Waratahs last couple of weeks. I'm guessing you've been training hard in the, sun, in the summer, sorry, in the sun, and uh, you are ready for this, and it's, um, you know, redemption. Yeah, I've been training pretty hard over in Sydney, and um, yeah, as you said, it's a bit of a redemption phase for me. Um, boxing gives me the opportunity to do that, and, um, you know, the mix between rugby and boxing has been really good. Uh, yeah, for me, so I'm, I'm looking forward to giving a good crack tomorrow. Look, we're in a privileged position um, that we work with a lot of professional athletes like yourself. When Manu did this, Manu Vatave did this a couple of years ago, he had a, then had his best season ever for the, the Warriors. When Liam Messam did it, he was out of the All Blacks, all of a sudden he was a starting All Black. The boxing does improve results if you do this. Is that um, in the back of your mind? Do you feel fitter than you normally have been before boxing, since, since doing boxing? Yeah, I'm a lot fitter. I mean, uh, going into the pre-season, I hadn't done a, a lot of running. I was just doing uh, mostly boxing and, and found myself at the front of the pack for once instead of uh, dragging behind. So, uh, no, it's been pretty rewarding and, um, you know, I am really enjoying it. So, um, looking forward to tomorrow. 94.8 kilos. How does that compare to your regular playing weight when you were with the All Blacks? Um, oh, I was about 96, 97, got up to 102 when I was in France eating croissants, so um, now I'm back down to a good weight that I'm happy with. Okay, I'm going to bring Art in shortly, but first of all I'll bring Mark Stafford from the TAV back up. Now this has been a fascinating war at the TAV regarding the odds. Could you explain how you started off and where you're at? Yeah, you mentioned the last fight was going to be the fight of the night. Part is the same, this one. Um, opening price, here's the thing, Zach was $1.15, Art was $5. This has been the biggest move in fight for life markets that we've seen. Art is now halved in price to 240. He's our biggest liability on the night. Um, if Art wins, I think those half price burgers at Burger King tomorrow will sell out because everyone's going to be flush with cash. So, um, but I've known Zach for a number of years and I know when he sets his mind to something, um, he'll stick to it. I see it as brawn and strength against fitness and looks. Um, but punters out there are uh, definitely backing you to uh, felt the All Black. Do you think that's because you've been out of Auckland for the last month and the rumour mill is going around, he's, he's training with Monty Beetham, Monty Beetham has never lost a corporate belt and that's just the rumour mill going around? Does that give you motivation? What, what do you make of those odds changing as dramatically as they have? Um, doesn't really mean anything to me, you know. Um, obviously. He's got a great trainer, he's in good shape, but um, you know, I've got a good trainer too and I've been training um, pretty hard, so it's all on night really. Um, have to hopefully put it together and um, put on a good show. How does this compare to, say, playing World Cup Rugby 24 hours, 36 hours out? Um, yeah, the, the nerves are up there and, and, I'm, and I'm pretty focused. I mean, uh, you know, trying to stay as relaxed as possible. I don't want to wind myself up too much before the fight, so 
I guess it's similar to, to a rugby game, so you don't have uh, 14 other guys to back you up. Well, I'll get you to change places up. Um, just first of all, when the risk assessment manager of TAB rang me about uh, you, I, I might have put word in that the, the word on the street is you're actually pretty good. Um, I'm guessing that your defence is fantastic because that's how Monty Beatham trains. Um, what do you make of those odds? Have you put any money on yourself? Um, I, so, well, I haven't personally put any money on myself, but I do have um, some buddies who have, so <laughs> I don't, you know, I want to make them some money for Christmas. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. The odds are, though, that, that uh, you know, the rumour mill is going around that you're, you're, uh, you're, you're ready to go. Would you take a piece of that action, or would you take the, was the dollar fifty for Zach a little bit better? Would you put more money on that? Um, no, I, to be honest, I, I would back myself. Um, I think my training has been coming along really well. Um, I sort of feel I'm in quite a good position and, um, yeah. Again, you guys have become mates through doing the publicity and everything. Tomorrow night, the money makers at, at risk. Uh, you, I've seen you before with actually a uh, busted up nose, a bit of a black eye. Um, you enjoy getting hit in the face? <laughs> Uh, I mean, I would say I enjoy getting hit in the face. Um, it's definitely a really quick way to learn. Um, so, yeah, I think I've learned, learned pretty quickly to try and um, keep my hands up by my face. All right, guys, let's do that stare down for me. If you stand uh, there, please. And looking at the cameras, please.